Hello guys, welcome to a new video. Today we are talking about the dev update. Because there's something I noticed that people have already confirmed in the PTB that nobody else seemed to have noticed about the new Sadako. But first let us talk about the 3 gen solution. Basically, now there are so-called regression events. If you damage a gen for at least 2.5%, a regression event starts. You can have 8 on any given gen. Basically, you can regress a gen only 8 times. This includes perk. So, Jolt will use up one of those regression events. Those get stopped if survivor repair at least 5% of a generator. Do I have to tell you why this is bad? Let's say there are people working on gen, somebody gets downed on the gen, you kick the gen, pick up the guy, hook him, they have done their 5%, ran away, you're gonna kick the gen again because you can't cup, catch up to them anymore. Two of eight regression events gone. Jolt, regression event gone. Pain rest, regression event gone. Eruption, regression event gone. For every single one of those. Guys, behavior, just change one problem for another. Killers are gonna be scared to kick an early game because it would use up one of their eight regression events. Killers with Jolt or Surge will be scared to down people in the beginning of the game because one regression event on every gen in the vicinity will be used up. What is this? All they had to do, all they had to do was make it that if the serv servers shut down, everybody counts as DC'd and gets no points, as well as removing the DC penalty if the match was going on for a certain amount of time. If, if the match is longer than 10 minutes, you don't have a DC penalty. And everybody, maybe not everybody would have been happy, but everybody would have been satisfied and it would not cause new problems. With that out of the way, let's get into the juicy part, the Sadako rework. Now what everybody saw in this, right? When your Unreal teleports within 60 meters of a power TV you will receive a stack of condemn. So yes, local condemn, it comes back. Look at the wording. It's not survivors within 60 meters of the TV that she teleports to, but within every powered TV, map wide. People have tested this in the PTB. It is actually not just terribly worded. It is how it says here. Every TV on the map, if you are within 60 meters on it, which means if you are on any gen on the map, you will receive a full stack of Condemn. Condemn will be faster than ever. The teleport cooldown has been removed, allowing her to teleport more frequently. Have fun with the two to three stacks before she actually teleports to the TV where you are turning that TV off. <laughs> Tape no longer protects survivors from getting condemned as well. So yeah, that's not a solution. Tapes can now only be deposited in the furthest TV from where they were picked up. So this is like the OG tape. Cursed tapes no longer get destroyed or have been condemned when a survivor is hit. Which you know, balancing reasons, makes sense. And to combat slugging when a survivor is hooked, their current condemned progress gets locked in, preventing it from being removed. So as a summary, right? If you are on any gen on the map, because there's always a TV within 60 meters for easy access, you get a stack of condemned if she teleports anywhere, as long as the TV is powered. So you will get condemned really fast. If she then downs you and hooks you, bing bong, your counter play is gone, and tapes don't protect you from it. All they had to do was that you only gain condemned if you are within 60 meters of a TV that Sadako teleports to, and not any TV on the map. And slugging, they could have just they could have done something different than this. They are overthinking it again. Same as with the sneak gen solution. The main reason for slugging on OG Sanako, as in excessive slugging as punching someone down, waiting around the corner, letting him get healed, punching him down again, and so on and so forth. The reason for that was that if they had a tape, Sanako had no way of preventing them to put it away. That was the reason. All they had to do to combat that is making the tapes get destroyed on hit without giving any condemn or maybe like half of a stack of condemn. <laughs> that was all they had to do because like slugging in general will still happen because if you are low condemn, no reason to hook you. Even if you are like mid condemn, no reason to hook you. Only on high condemn or if you are holding a tape, there's any reason to hook you at all as Sadako, even with those changes. Well, let's go on. 
Sadako can now chase survivors while demanifested. Fair enough. And additionally, many pointed out that one of the Onryo's changed add-ons, Reiko's Watch, was very fun to use. Rather than add the effect back into the add-on, we instead incorporated it into a base kit to make the add-on feel less essential. The duration of invisibility while the manifest has been increased to 1.2 seconds was 1 second. Let's speak numbers. Old OG Rekos Watch, the one everybody loved, the one they were talking about, 1.5 seconds. Current Rekos Watch, the one nobody used anymore, 1.33 seconds. New base kit, 1.2. This is worse than the Rekos watch that nobody was using anymore. Which, you know, it's base kit, so I don't see a problem there. But if this means that the add-on Rekos watch, because that's how it sounds like, rather than add the effect back, if the add-on gets changed or removed, like, this is a huge L. Let me know what you think about that in the comments. Have fun. Hey, I, love the, I, I love this guy. <laughs> this uh, Kiro. Yeah, Kuro's awesome. He's awesome. Yeah. Girl, no one appreciates you.